Back on the show, Mike Cook back with us as we continue our NBA Legal Difference segment. Mike uh, back to continue his talk on uh, car insurance. It's something everybody has questions about. So welcome back, Mike. Good to see you. Thank you, Mark. Uh, thanks for inviting us uh, to no, be on no today. No problem. St uh, staying dry these days. Trying to stay dry. See, we're going to have uh, wet weather for the next several days. Yeah. Uh, and we have our youngest son graduate from high school, so we're really looking Do forward you? When, to when's that. that? When's it's that? It's Monday night. Uh, he's graduating from Bolton High School. Gosh, your kids have grown up. I remember yeah. when they were, they weren't that big. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Before we know it, we always, you know, people have always said oh, that. And, I know. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. It happens, though. All for right. Sure. Uh, let's start with uh, what type of insurance should one carry? Uh, first, I would like to say is I would defer to anybody's insurance agent, you know, okay. to do it. And, and what I'm going to do is give people a perspective on, from a lawyer's point of view, what are the different types of insurance out there? Uh, kind of a bit of an education. Exactly. Help and people make an informed decision. Exactly. Because okay. I always think that you know the more information we have, the better it is when you even talk to your agent about what to carry. Yeah. Uh, but some of the different types of car insurance are. Uh, liability, that's what's required by law. That's mm -hmm. what everybody has to have on their yeah. car. Uh, after that, you can pick and choose when, what you want to have on your car. And, and I'm going to give you an example of my family. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I have three boys, as you know, Mark, uh -huh. and they have the older cars. So what we do on that is we just get the liability coverage. Mm -hmm. uh, liability and I get UM coverage on their car. Um, the reason is... Un uninsured motorist. Yep, un yep, which we've talked about before. Yeah. Uh, and, and if you remember, I'll just kind of tell the audience again, is that's when somebody doesn't have any insurance and, and causes act, I mean, a, a wreck against you and they're at fault, uh, your insurance, mm -hmm. your uninsured motorist would provide coverage. And that's if they have no insurance or not enough insurance. But um, So that's something I, I'm a big believer in. And mm -hmm. before I became a lawyer, I didn't even know what uninsured motorist was. So, uh, and now you know. Now you know. And now I know because... You're protecting other people with the liability coverage, and yep. you're protecting yourself with your uninsured motorist coverage. Yeah, and those are the two most essential type of coverages right. that you need. Everything else, well, you know, obviously you need more, but that, that those are the two big keys, right? It, it is. Those are two big keys. And then obviously, depending on somebody's uh, vehicle, mm -hmm. you know, how much you owe on the car, uh, how new the car is, mm -hmm. uh, then, then you get into the comprehensive collision coverage, uh, and that's when, you know, it could be a one-car accident. That's when that would, you know, kick in, yeah. uh, yep. and, and your car would get paid for. Uh, the other thing is, people often get is what's called medical payment coverage, mm -hmm. and that's something that provides medical bills regardless of fault for whatever amount you select uh, with your insurance agent. And, and a common one is five hundred to a thousand dollars, and a lot of times that can pay for deductibles, things of that sort. If you have health insurance, if not, it'll go towards any type of hospital bill, ambulance bill, you know, that you incur. What is umbrella coverage? Explain umbrella, a bit. Yeah, umbrella coverage is somebody will have their base uh, line of coverage mm -hmm. uh, that you may have with whatever agency, you know, you get your insurance with. Uh, and what that is, is insurance on top, uh, hmm. top of your insurance. It's excess yeah. coverage. Uh, and it's, it's more of, you know, the more people, you know, working outside, the more they've made a chance to make money, the more assets they have, the more protection they want to get. And yeah. that's when you want to, you know, start considering uninsured, I mean, um, excess okay. umbrella coverage over and above your underlying. So that's not for everyone. You don't that, think that is not of. for everyone. Right. OK. Uh, and if, uh, talk about filing and an insurance claim. What's the best way to go about that? Yeah. The best way to go about that is when you're involved in an accident, you mm -hmm. exchange information with, you know, the person, you know, you were in an accident with. Uh, and, and I give a little, you know, it's a funny story. My son was involved in an accident recently, and next thing I know, uh, he calls me and said, Dad was involved in an accident. <laughs> and I said, you know, really, what happened? And, and yeah. what did the police say? And he said, Dad, I left already. <laughs> so he left the scene. So I said, no, you got to go back. Yeah. you got to go back, exchange paperwork, call the police, and you stay there until the police arrive and, yeah. and they will do a report. Kids, what are you yes. gonna do with them, huh? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Um, so what you wanna do is exchange the information. Once you do that, yeah. you know, sometimes they'll have phone numbers on the um, insurance card that they have. Sometimes they don't, they don't. Yeah. You need to Google it, find out who the insurance company is with, and then call them up and then you can, you know, give the information in order to make a claim with the insurance company. Got it. We'll continue this discussion uh, next week. Again, Mike, if somebody want to get in touch with you at NBA, what's the best way to get hold of you and ask some of these questions? Yeah, sometimes they call us directly on our yeah. phone, and the other is go to our website, nbalawfirm.com. Got it. Mike, thanks for dropping by. All right. Thanks, Mark. Crazy son. It. He really did that, huh? <laughs> he really did that. <laughs> Everything worked out okay? Huh? It really did. Good. Yeah, thank All you, right. then, Mark. We've got more to come. Stick around.